Hey guys, welcome. So I'm about to check out the very first episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, which has finally got an anime. And I'm pretty excited about this because I am reading the books. I have got one through five presently and I'm up to date. And the next ones are currently on pre-order. I've just read an interview with Gigi Akatumi who actually writes the books and I hope, I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. Apparently they're going to do up to 21 volumes, so there's a few more to go. So I'm really enjoying the mangas and I'm excited to see how the anime adaption turns out. So if this is your first time watching Jujutsu Kaisen, I don't want to spoil it for you because the story is going to reveal itself in its own way. So I'm really curious to see how the anime differs with the manga. So basically the story is about a sorcery school where people have powers and they're fighting monsters. And our main protagonist, Yuji Itadori, is the central focus. And there's also a pretty overwhelmingly powerful demon who I think we're going to meet in this one because the title of this episode is called Realman Sukana. I'm, I'm, once again, I'm, I'm hoping I'm getting the pronunciation right. I don't know, but the last name is Sukuna and he's the, the demon in question. So like I said, I'm not going to spoil any plot developments here. The anime could run completely differently to the, to the manga, so that's why I wanted to check it out. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It did drop a few days back and this is just my first opportunity to check it out. It's my birthday today as well, so I thought why not treat myself. I am also battling a bit of a virus, so I'm a little bit husky in coffee, so hopefully that doesn't take away from the experience too much. Okay, episode number one of Jujutsu Kaisen. So this is a timer-based reaction. I don't show you any content or audio. You watch along with your own copy. I also have early release schedule over my Patreon. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's do it. Let's see what all the hype's about. There's Yuji. Now there's a very large cast of characters in this book. Okay. Goju. I've got to remember all the names. As like I said, there's a lot of characters. Oh, it's starting differently to the book. That's good. I like it. Uh huh. Secretly executed. Title sequence. Just gonna crank this up a little bit. Oh, I like it. Pandas here. Ah, oh, awesome. This is very, very cool. We're about to enter a world of monsters and sorcery. So Mappa Studios is doing this one as well, right? And the team that brought to us the God of High School, which was amazing. If you've not seen that, get on it. It's freaking insane. I don't know what I want to say about the plot because I know a lot of the reveals there in the title. I don't want to say anything to anybody in case this is your first time. Yudadori. Normal, everyday, average school kid. Now it's been a long time since I've read the first book. Trying to remember. So the anime is actually formatted differently to the book, obviously. I mean, we start with that opening scene where 
Itadori was already chained up. So that's going to be explained along the course of the um, introductory episode here. But it is delivering the story differently. Which is cool. I mean, it's going to surprise the viewer. I mean, a lot of us have read the manga at this point, so... They've got to draw us in. Something's missing. I'll punch you. So like I said, I've got to kind of get used to all the character names again. I'm, I'm just shocking. It's not my fault. It's the Ouija Club. Plankton President. Mysterious file. <laughs> the animation's very good. Haunted rugby field. Yeah, it's a haunted field. <laughs> Ticks. Hard ticks are bad. The occult club, that's right. Oh, he's not registered. So they're going to close the club. Oh, that's... He rewrote it. He rewrote his name. Nice! The animation is so good. No, it's not fair and square to do that. <laughs> That's wrong. It's forgery. So we have got curses. Curses are floating around the city. And the different levels. There's a really interesting lore to this show, man. Special grade curse. Coach taking on a student. Doesn't seem legit. <laughs> that ninja warrior. He's strong. 
<laughs> Look at the coach. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> Zenon Senpai. So he threw the ball without any cursed energy. Oh, wow. It makes sense the more you watch it. Just introducing the world. Characters. He's had a flash. <laughs> Is he a car? He's going to go visit his grandpa. Don't touch the flowers, kid. So he's a good kid. Visited his visits his grandfather in hospital. I don't remember much about the grandfather in the books though. I just don't. Like I said, it's been three or four months since I read it though. Save people. All alone. Well, he's not alone. He's got his grandson here. Did he just die? Shit, man. This is probably why I don't remember much about him in the first book. I'll have to revisit. <laughs> oh, okay, that's sad. He just rolled over and died. I love how you get the little English overlays over um writing in the anime, it's cool. He just died five minutes ago. <laughs> Jiu-Jitsu Tech.
negative energy. So it's like protecting your house from spiders by getting a rattlesnake. Oh, it's gone. To the school quickly so they've got the little um thing from the thing don't open it you're not gonna like what you find but where the curse There we go. Not human. Yeah, it's very, 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 very bad. Very bad. Oh, <laughs> nice. Took me a while to get my head around it as well, man. And there's a force field barrier up already. So the curses have been unleashed. We have monsters. The monsters in the book are creepy AF. So I'm excited to see them here in animation form. Oh, he's getting eaten. It's lunchtime. <laughs> oh, the animation's so good. Look at this. Fight time. Slurp, slurp. Wow. Very good. No. Let's go in. So help others. Those words will stay with him. Oh, they're um getting eaten. The um, the score is amazing. Here he comes. 
Just like Batman. Nice work, man. First time ever seeing a curse monster and he's like, got this. Oh, nice. <laughs> the dogs. Wolves. Wolves. I have a proper death, not get eaten by a monster. Sakuna's finger. Here comes a big one. Level two, level three. Oh, he's a big unit. Oh, oh, they're gone. Wow, this is beautifully animated. This translates really well to anime. I mean, I was just ripe for it. <laughs> oh boy, still holding onto that finger. It doesn't taste good. So if you eat the cursed finger, you gain powers. Gulp. One swallow. Yep. Here we go. Oh, shit. This is really, really awesome. Uh, it's Sakuna. Special grade. Oh, nice. Oh, animated beautifully. One in a million. I like the voice. Fighting himself. Mm. 
Nice. I will exercise you as a curse. Next time. There's a few brief flashes. Episode 2 for myself coming next week. Okay, so... Very, very good adaption. I can see why people are so hyped for this. People were raving about it on Twitter. said it was amazing. The opening score, the soundtrack was good. Yeah, very, very cool. So they did kind of start the, the anime a little bit differently to the book, but that's to be expected. But so far, yeah, very faithfully adapted. And the animation is really good, but we, we expect nothing less from MAPPA. So number one, which came out a while back, kind of, yeah, the first couple chapters... Just about the occult club and um so i'm, I'm not going to show anything because you know copyright and stuff but first couple chapters in that first book were, were realized quite nicely here but like i said I'm, I'm reading so much manga right now and watching so much anime i have forgotten certain plot details but a lot of it was coming back as i was watching it but there's a very large cast of characters so remembering all the names is going to be a thing for me so i'm gonna have to kind of look them up and make sure i refresh myself every time i do my reaction because i've read the book i should know but yeah, very, very good. So you guys excited for this one? So what I liked about the episode was the animation. Number one, it was adapted beautifully. And the manga is just ripe for an anime because because the story is about monsters and sorcery. And there's a large group of characters to get to know. So there's a lot of opportunity for those to have their own stories and special episodes. But I, I love the world building and the lore in the manga. It's really well done. Sure, there's a lot to kind of take on board with all the curses and all the different monsters and all the different levels and grades. I, I found it initially a little bit overwhelming. Like the first book was amazing. But as that second book come and came to expand on the story... I did find myself getting a little bit lost, so it definitely is ripe for a reread. And the manga, as good as it is, does have its flaws. I mean, it does have some pacing issues, and it does have some sudden scene jumps as well without any kind of prior warning. You're reading, so you're reading a panel, then suddenly the next panel, you're just in a different location with different people all of a sudden. I found that a little bit jarring, but overall, the book is very good. So what I'm thinking the anime is going to do is give us a really clean adaption of that book. It's going to clean it up and give us a nice coherent story, really focus on the characters, and give us some amazing fight scenes because the book is really beautifully drawn and the fight scenes in it are incredible they're violent and they're gory the monsters are very well done they're very unique and original so to see those adapted in an anime will be quite good to see now itadori is an interesting character as we saw before he even swallowed the finger he had some powers so i can't remember why that is but he's already really kind of super strong and megumi the guy who summoned the wolves is a, a nice foil so getting to know all these characters will be an interesting journey in the anime so I'm, I'm excited to see it and of course Saguna who is the the demon in question the cursed finger now that Itadori has swallowed that finger he's now going to be morphing into Sukuna and battling him internally every now and then but uh yeah the way he's drawn the way their eye appeared on the side of his cheek sick very very cool anyway guys I'm going to dive into another reaction I've got a, fu a few full metal alchemists I've got to get done today so I'm going to dive into that next, so I'll get the next next episode of this up to you when it releases, hopefully I'll get them to you when they drop, but um, yeah, depending on my work schedule, I'll get them up to you when I can. So, are you excited for Jujutsu Kaisen? Let me know down below in the comments. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.